Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match of CCL 49. We have got Vade and his Undead versus Luminous and his High Elves. And in the booth with me is Kalon. Hello. Hello, Jim. Uh, really excited for this uh, third round game. Uh, we've uh, watched uh, the two of these teams as they battle their way through to get to here. And uh, there's been plenty of banging being done by um, Vade. Yeah. Um, it's a nice team. He absolutely killed, <laughs> oh, well, there you go. He absolutely crippled an, uh, a, a lizard team um, in record time. I think the game was 17 minutes um, uh, in the first round. And then in the second round was up against Gesnar and his, uh, his underworld. And uh, it was a beautiful underworld team as well. And he just, just got fierce killed. <laughs> um, so yeah, off to, off to his standard start. Pro didn't do the job, but uh, the other guy with Mighty Blow Tackle did. Mm. So we're down an elf immediately. Um, so yeah, the basic mummies as literally basic, like you're yeah, basic. Uh, they don't have anything at all. Um, two uh, really nice mighty blow tackles. Um, one is palm and pro. Uh, the other one's guard. Um, the gals are fine. And um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice ghouls. Of course, not gals. That is, that Sorry, is Kalon yeah. being rude. I am, yeah. <laughs> um, and they've got a wizard as well. Luminous yep. hasn't got anything too sexy. But he's got he's got a guard catcher and he's got five blood step, which is obviously pretty flipping good. Yeah, um, it's great. The, the, the step is huge. Yeah. Yeah, but only moves like only move upon the blitzers. Like you know, if if this was a strength up and an edge up, the team you'd think the team's pretty fucking great, right? But or if the For move sure. or if both moves were on the same catcher, but mm. like as it is, like they're they're lacking a bit of an oomph to be like a. a a chalice favourite, but you know they're here. They've they've won the rounds and they're elves, and they can always win, can they? Yeah, this is it. I, I it's a cool high elf team, and um, you know the great thing about high elves is that they're really durable. So he only took two for, out of four on the line of scrimmage. So um, <laughs> I mean things are looking fine, really. Yeah. Um, there is this foul. Oh, he has Yeah, yeah. There's the foul, and he, he has he done the blitz yet? He hasn't done the blitz yet. And he hasn't. I mean, he might not blitz actually. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure about the blitz. Um, He's a little tight, but I suppose they're not uh, ghouls on either side of him. <laughs> ghouls. Is he going to go yes. for ghouls? Yeah. Is he going to go for foul on this, Phil? I wonder. He's definitely going to foul this spot. Yeah. Because he's got direct player, and like that's how he wins, right? Isn't it just? Yeah, yeah, levels? yeah. And sneaky gate as well. So like, you, you just never get caught. Like it's just max. It's just science. You can't argue with it. Yeah. Instantly caught. But he gets the cars. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah. So if he hadn't uh, killed him, he would have. Uh, he would have. Oh no, because he broke armor on the. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I mean, that's not bad. Didn't get a blitz in, but still managed to remove two elves fully for the game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Luna's down to nine for the drive, ten for the match. Yeah. And of course, he's not, not ideal. No. And he can Not still ideal. keep fouling, but yeah, you know, that's the thing, right? Like, that foul, I think it was right to do because just getting them down men is good. Like, you've got the tackle pommer, sure. so, like, you can eventually target the good players. Yep. It's an interesting thing, like, having the bribe. Well, he doesn't have a bribe. Having a dirty player yeah. or a bribe against, like, a team with some really good players. It's like, mm -hmm. you kind of want to do the good players, but then if you get rid of the shit at first, yeah. Yeah, it's all kind of six and two three. Yeah, it's it's interesting. And I remember I remember I I always mentioned this, there was a playoffs match, I think it might have been the season Ducky won with Brett. Full power the mighty blow tackle on the box step. Yeah, I didn't like that these were able to go Yeah, they were I thought he was gonna move him afterwards like he assisted the foul. Oh but he I guess he would have moved afterwards. He would have had he not been there's none to him. Uh, sorry, yeah, you were saying about the foul, and uh, yeah, Ducky is a man who's uh, you know kind of famous for his fouling. Yeah, so Ducky had a bribe against some Skaven, and uh, he just went straight balls to the wall like fouling line rats from turn one. Yeah. And it ended up that you know he, he got the uh, he got the snowball rolling, and uh, and but I thought he was quite yeah, I thought he was quite favoured even without like even with the bribe like I thought Ducky was like well favoured to win the match. So I, sure. therefore, I would have tried to, uh, you know, because I was favourite, I would have just saved them for fouling the gutters and stuff, thinking the only way he gets in is if his gutters do something or the storm vermin. Whereas yeah. here, 
I think Luminous is favoured, so I'd, I'd more prefer trying to get the snowball rolling to start with. Yeah, if you see that's me. really that's yeah. What a, what a, yeah, no, that's that's really cool. It's it's a really interesting one as well, though, because when you're talking about Ducky, you have to remember that Ducky like is just really good at fouling. I don't know how some people are good at it. I don't know why it's a thing, but Jesus, like I remember hearing about him and uh, people talking about that going to foul like Ducky, and then watching him in a game. He was playing in the Blitz Pit. And um, he was playing against Amazons, and he needed to get a. He got a knockdown on an Amazon, and she was. He need, She. He got the both down, so she went down on the ground in front of him. He needed to get through, and her body being in the way meant that he just fouled like in the middle of the turn to get her out of the way, so that he could get through on the ball. And it was just fucking genius. Like I was like, wow, because it's just a proper kind of. It's just so incorporated into his play style. Um, and watching him just foul like every single turn and just constantly at removals and um, how it's all incorporated into his play style like it's never he's never out of position as a result of it he's always he's hit a guy specifically so that he goes into here into here into here so now I foul him and then he's just gone and you're like wow great this is this is rough isn't it this is really rough it is just br brainless play by Luminous you know essentially yeah, but it's it's, it's pretty effective though right? essentially brainless like it's not fully brainless because he has thought about how he's basing and stuff but like this is the yeah. thing that, that all based up is a bunch of blood step you'd, you'd better you know you'd better you'd better roll pals and you'd better try and predict oh he doesn't roll pals pro fails so now he signs up to here maybe yep oh no okay well they're out of gone here but um Hurt, sir. base 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 this okay, won't yep. fail I'm on the rig and yeah, now he's in, a, he's in a hell of a lot of trouble like how on he's earth does he protect the ball yeah. Is he going to go for the blitz? Yeah, okay, cool. So he gets him with wrestle Defending at least. The ball Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, he does get him with wrestle. But uh, cost him a reroll. And how on earth does he protect the ball? I mean, it's super easy for Space Cadet, but not so easy for yeah. the other people. Yeah, pretty tricky. You might just have to leave the uh, mummy in contact and just uh, try to make a some bit of a cage around him up there on the yeah, right hand side. Up here, yeah. There, Person's yeah. The I, I think that's about do. it. Because at least you're using the prone body there as uh, some and bit of a try to try to fish for a power against this catcher. Because otherwise he just powers you and, yeah, and gets in guard on the ball. Yeah. So like you yeah. literally have to just try and power. He's gone the other way. Well, in that case, you can't go here. No, <laughs> I mean, you can, but it's a terrible yeah. idea. <laughs> it is, yeah. That's pretty crazy. Run to your end zone. It's probably the better one now. Probably the better play there was just run towards the end zone. It's gonna make a just literally out of range of him. Just, yes, this guy can just. I don't know. He's not covering much, is he? No, no, he's in what? He's in a lot of trouble. Yep. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Oh, gets the full pow. Yeah, huh? gets the cheeky pow there. Doesn't do anything. Playing with the uh, Amazons, he'd be counting these. Mm. So now there's a near instant two dice on the ball. <laughs> and a counter score, like a very easy counter score. Maybe mm. you should have wizarded here, like genuinely. Maybe this was just an early wizard because he's unlikely to get to use the wizard, you know, to force a counter score on defense. Yeah. Um, but if you can use it to make your half a 1 0 win instead of a 1 0 loss, <laughs> then maybe that's worth it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, he is on guard, the catcher, the guard catcher. He does want to make that one die, but he has to bring in the the guy. So the, the guy he powed is going to have to come in down to the bottom and then so that he can get the one dice for the push so that he can hit him with wrestle and retrieve yeah. it fast man and pass it to kick man. Yeah, he's only got a one. Oh, no, well, he can 2D here. So he can dodge out there. He can 2D. Oh, no, he stood up. Okay, yeah, so it's only a 1D. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, only a 1D and he needs a push. Yeah. And he does need a push, yeah. Gets it. Mm -hmm. So now we've got 2D with Rackle. <laughs> He's right here. <laughs> yeah, surprised he brought... Um, oh, he had to cancel the assist, of course. So he had to bring Kickman in already. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So with that in mind... Um, yeah, is he going to hit him from the bottom up? No, he's going to get him across, yeah. Oh, well, in that case, maybe he should have brought in another player because yeah. he's got sidestep. He's no, got sidestep, yeah. That's that's why I was curious as to where he'd go. Um, 
and um, mm. I'm not sure about the follow up with him having decided to go out that way. So, it's yeah, just uh, occupying it. I suppose, yeah. But um, and maybe he just really didn't want to catch it at all. So um, yeah, so he's just got it screened off. Yeah. So fast man fucks off down the bottom right, and um, and you dodge off with the the other blitzer. Oh. oh, interesting. Hmm. Because the rackle's free. Yeah, you can you can just mark him though, can't he, with this guy? Yeah, I suppose. I suppose no need to do the pass then if you do it that way. Okay. Yeah, he's not going for the pass when he's, when mm -hmm. he's still up. I guess he's only moved yeah. seven. The problem here is like he can whiz, like he's more likely to whiz still to whiz, back. yeah. Whereas if if you'd had it down there screened, okay, he yeah. might bolt you, but like it's not looking as good for him. Whereas here he could fireball and. Uh, I mean, maybe he's it. maybe he's drawing it out, right? Maybe he's you know it's one it's another one of the inducements that I he can just, get rid of. I just don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I concur. I think he probably do at well. least bolt here, probably yeah. fireball. Fireball does he can go for the four as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean you've got to because you're just losing otherwise. Mm -hmm. It's over if you don't. <laughs> Can we come? Oop. Oop. And a resist. Cool. So, pretty important resist there because Tackle Man is actually, or Kick Man is doing a job and we still have the Muddy Boat standing. And no armor breaks is massive as well. Yep. It does prevent you from playing around the ways, but I'd just much rather just, you know, stall out the half and him have a whiz and be 1 0 up. Than, mm -hmm. uh, than this, you know, Kaz two guys and he's 1-0 mm -hmm. up and has used his whiz. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you had to. I think you had to whiz, yeah. Yeah, I, I, would, I would have been happy to whiz there. Well, not obviously not happy in the absolutely horrendous situation that he's in, almost certainly losing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> once you're in this situation, I'm quite happy using the wizard. For sure. And maybe it was that foul that cost him here. Um, maybe, yeah. yeah. It was very early and it was for a shader and he did lose a guy and it meant that he was able to get through and, you know. So maybe. Um. Oh. A little yeah. surprised by that. Yeah, I thought the Bracco would have blitzed, but I guess you might as well yeah. just blitz with a mighty blow and then the mighty you've got to get lucky yeah. to win already. You do, yeah. Doesn't get him. No pro on this guy. Doesn't put it in either. Yeah, so that puts him in the ball. Yeah. yeah. Ugh. So he really wants to hit the guard uh, here. So he's going to want to bring the guard over and get in. With that's. I mean, he doesn't want to be in that position at all. So mm. he's done here. So they didn't get the three dice Ooh, with yeah. the big no, guy. No, no. Oh. Maybe he should have done this first, right, to see if he played yeah. with pro, and then he could have blitzed with pro. Oh, and he sidestepped also, he just sidestepped, so... He just sidestepped there, yeah, but... Mm. Wow. Well... Pro that. This has been... A Do bit... A, yeah, yeah, so make sure that the, uh... Cool that can that get out can... to pick it up. Because wow. if he doesn't pick up the ball this turn, he's lost, doesn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, oh, interesting fight. <laughs> Yeah, like this is it's elves. Like yeah. you leave the ball on the ground, you just lose. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, it's just it, it was. I, I I was just confused by the whole turn. I think I had something in my head about how to play it at the start, and then it, it differed. So I was like, "What's going on?" <laughs> for for quite a lot of it. Yep, that's GG now. Yeah, that's it. That is, it's literally already <laughs> over in turn three. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. Well. Well, a big mighty blow hit here, and uh, if he can just shove him out of the way, if he can get get him down as well, he's going to be able to get a, um, a frenzy hit in on the... Uh, so it doesn't, but uh, mm. he's got a frenzy hit coming in on the uh, Rackler, which would have been nice, but he's not going to go for that anymore. Um, no, he probably just blitzes the, uh, the white. Yeah. I might just not blitz anyone and just pick it up. Not blitz anybody, just pick up the ball and fuck off. Does have to deal with the rackle somewhat, but um... yeah, you can do all these punches first. See what happens. Can yeah. 
big boy out of the way. Hello, Jack Ball. What I'm eating is American uh, American fantasy football players. <laughs> Way! Uh, a 22-point lead. He has got uh, one. He has got Tom Brady. I've got Patrick Mahomes. So unless Tom Brady outscores Mahomes by 20, I uh, should be winning this one. <laughs> Glorious, four and all. Not bad. Who are the Bucks playing? Uh, Kansas City. That's it. So it's there. It's a duel. Oh, it's, it's a, oh right. Okay, cool. It's an actual oh, yeah, duel. Yeah. Well, you have to bear in mind that it's because it's Kansas City. Then uh, you're just gonna have to wait for him to actually start doing stuff in the second half as well, right? Mm. So it may it may it may get closer before it, the spread comes in. It might do. Is this park below him? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Doctor the Dog. The stabilization didn't really happen, did it? Um, that, and it was maybe it was that big foul, you know? Maybe it was that big foul he shouldn't have done. It's funny, mm -hmm. isn't it? Because he obviously decided not to blitz because the blitz was like too exposing positionally. Maybe he should have decided that the foul was too exposing positionally. But it's hard though. This game was always going to be hard. Like if if Luminous just did what he did and got away with it. And he did what he did, and he got away with it. So that that was pretty much it, basically. You know, there's going to be a turn where he bases everybody and relies on having five blood step. And, you know, on another day, on another day, he pals with both of those hits, and okay, cool. he makes two cas and you know, two cas and a KO. And yeah, it makes a lot more sense now after the. Because I was worried because he, he had left the 3 plus on and not done the um, dodge out, but now that he's put that guy there, it's just made it, you know, super I mean, hard. It's still a 4 that you still go for it, right? It doesn't matter if it works, does it? Uh, no, it doesn't, but it's the only <laughs> it's the only, the only real play he has available to himself. It's no, it's not. It you can just palm this guy. Yeah, true. I'll palm this yeah. guy. Put, put I mean, it's a pretty, pretty good um, in incentive on, um, you know, go and fucking score or I'll kill the rest of your team. Yeah, that's all he can do is just try and go yep. for damage for the rest of the match. It's not even worth trying to stop the score now. Mm -hmm. The undead just got a wizard. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. It was uh, that he had kept himself so um, so tight because he was going for the foul, and that meant that he was just able to run all the way around the corner. Mm -hmm. well, TV and of course, the... wasn't very big. Seventeen hundred of the uh, the undead. They just don't have skills in the mummies. Um, no. Lots of skills, otherwise the high elves are only eighteen hundred odd. Um, and yeah, don't have a lot going for them. Right, they don't have a lot of stats. They've got a lot of normals. That's the thing. That's why they're quite TV efficient. They've only got the one guard, one mighty blow. And uh, and the rest is just normal. Block yeah, a couple of moves on the step. blitzers. Yeah, but yeah, it's still it's the, all of the sidestep is great. Mm. Like he still put a ton of games in on this team. Like he still put like forty games in on the team, didn't he? Mm. Gets the four and doesn't get it. Mm. I wouldn't even bother blitzing out of this point. Yeah. Don't say it's over. It's it's definitely over. <laughs> He's about to get mighty bubble. He couldn't well. be more oh. fucking over. He might, uh, yeah, this is uh, kind of better, isn't it, to try to go for the mighty blow hit on the sure hands as well. Yeah. Because the rackler is annoying, but the sure hands is good. Yeah. He's got and you as well. can rackle his rackle anyway, so that's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're not losing anything by hitting him with rackle. Mm hmm. Here we go. Because it's so annoying when your bludger, like, well, your block player hits the rest of it. Yeah, it is really fucking frustrating, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Jack Will, pretty good, isn't it? Pretty good. I didn't know what I was doing. Is he going to go in? No, he's not. I thought he was going to go in for a second, and I was like, what the... Yeah, pure damage. It's pure damage is his only way. Like, make it easy for the yep. second half. If, if if Luminous starts the second half with, like, seven seven players, mm -hmm. then, um, then, you know, maybe he can roll double ones as well, and mm -hmm. then you can do something. Yeah, only pure damage. You can't even try and force the score. It's just pure damage. You foul with everybody. You pump as much as possible, and and you foul as much as possible. That's all you can do. So to that end, I would have not done this one day. I would have, I would have pumped. 
Yes, this was Vade's drive. <laughs> G23, this was Vade's drive, and it's it's gone disastrously wrong. <laughs> to the point where it's not over, but it's nearly fucking over already, instantly. In yep, it's turn four, and it doesn't look like they have a spot in hell of getting the ball back, so... Yeah. Um, you know, there's still a whole... There's, all, like, there's, there's a half and a half to go. Can uh, move the mummy out of the way and blitz this this move it blodger. Yeah, it'd nice. be really blitz nice to get rid of the, um, the the mighty blow would have been would have been a lovely lad to get rid of. Mm. It was the problem with taking that um, that hit there. No, this is the last match for the night as the pink. There's been uh, three chalice games before this and two Jimmy Fantastic games before this. Mm. Glorious Amazons. Fucking spoiled, sir, we were. Yeah. Bailey Zap, is that who it is? <laughs> you've got Ooh. Jesus Christ. Ooh, he's still trying to, still trying to play Blood Bowl, this fella. What a loony. <laughs> what an absolute loon. <laughs> yeah. I think that is not the play. Yeah, well, he's got the hit with the, the, the ghoul can take a hit on this guy. And he would just roll pushes anyway, but he would have had pro. Yeah. Yeah. He would have had pro. So. Bailey Zap is a real name, but it shouldn't be. <laughs> They're pretty fucking great. Oh, he didn't even go for him. Oh, he's just keeping him trapped in there and think instead. Yeah. Trapped. But I mean, he just trapped, yeah, he just gets immediately hit the. Yeah, punch him, two back plus leg. away. Yeah, exactly. Boom. Get Rick, son. He's trapped. <laughs> so yeah, can he plug in the guard here and go for go for the the piling on boy? That's pretty tempting, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, a little bit. I mean, not using guard, you can just go around the side, right? Yeah, just go around the side. I mean, put, oh no, because you can punch the other one. Yeah, he's already punched the other one as so well. Yeah, you can punch the guard mm -hmm. and then blitz the palm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still, I'd still rather have not put in the guard. <laughs> Personally, on a personal yeah. level, because I would have thought I'd have won this match. So on the basis that I thought I'd have won, I would have uh, protected the guard. And yeah. The wrestler stripper. So I'd have assisted from the side of the wrestler stripper. Yep. And he's coming over here, <laughs> mm -hmm. so he doesn't get killed. And I would just be in complete yeah. like damage control for the rest of the heart. Yeah. Because he's definitely going to get an old Biff back. Oh, he's gone back in. And Max blocks. Hmm. I mean, you know, there's a lot to be said for Max blocks. There sure. is, yeah. Skuro too too angry to write coherently. Fucker that loser. Fucking <laughs> 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 Aaron Rodgers. I used to like Aaron Rodgers until uh, found out about what Aaron Rodgers thinks. Mm. Oh. I DT. like him from a football oh, perspective. It's away from the DT. Yeah. Yeah, he's amazing. His his like the his long bomb is incredible. Long bomb. Hail Mary pass. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that's um, what's his name? Um, Kyle, Kyler. Oh, what the fuck is his name? The small film, the small, film, small lad in Atlanta. I've got no idea. Lads, help me out. Kyle Murray, Kyle Murray, that Murray. That's it. Arizona. Arizona, of course. Yeah, yeah. Kyle Murray, Arizona. Thank you, Arizona Cardinals. I always get the Falcons and the and the Cardinals confused because of the red. Mm, the red and the birds. Yeah, exactly. Easy done. Yeah. 
that old joke about the the guy on the quiz show being asked for what's the name of a a, a bird with a it's a bird with a big neck and he says Naomi Campbell. <laughs> There we go, a pile of. This is what you should have been doing for yep. three turns. Yeah. Only a turn. Ooh, just a KO. I'd say Lumi's going to be delighted with that. Although only one KO roll. Mm. And it is his only guard. Hello, broadsword. It is indeed Kalon. As you can see, it's you, there's a there's a there's a photorealistic uh, picture of him here. There's, there's me. Yep. <laughs> uh, well, uh, broad, broadsword's met me in in real life, and he's seen those. Those abs in real life, so he has. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, man? Uh... Oh, fantastic! For, from Cork, that's great, Leaf. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Mm. Yeah, it's a lovely accent. <laughs> Those abs are real. Thank you. Yeah, they're proof, lads. Proof. Cheers, I appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, well done. Uh, are you back in Ireland um, already, Ollie? Uh, three and three, three zero oh, from the uh, from the weekend at the Devotational. Well done. On dead OP. Oh, so you're still in knock. <laughs> um, it's just a proxy. Nice one. <laughs> He's not uh, uh, not scoring. So there's I watch. So some double ones to be rolled here. There are indeed. Um, oh, the one you have to raid, raise the stream. Yeah, that's fun. If anybody wants to go and see that, you can catch me on Wednesday nights over on uh, Sporkbearer uh, on his channel. And uh, when Kalon gets really excited, you're able to see uh, my avatar raises up and you get to see my willy. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. It's really, it's really funny. <laughs> so you're not choosing the hide members in that one. <laughs> hey! Excellent stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really funny. Um, uh, Dark side, to answer your question, uh, you there? If you could, you can Google like there's a bunch of different places you can Google live live streaming sports, and uh, you'll be able to catch a bunch of websites. But the show to watch if you're this side of the Atlantic is um, uh, on Sky TV. They have a thing called the Red Zone. Um, which is on NFL as well, but um, it's 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 really really good. It's a it's a guy who's e extremely good at his job, um, showing you all of the live games, and it cuts from game to game, so there's no ads. It's great. Mm. I just yeah. tend to watch the uh, the highlights on YouTube. Um, yeah. Because you know you can't. But the annoying thing is you can't watch all of the games if you're in England because zone, yeah. unless you unless you uh, pay for Sky. And pay for like the NFL pass or whatever. Like I, I wanted to just pay, you know, for that. I wanted to genuinely pay for the NFL thing, you know, where you get like NFL Game Pass or whatever. But mm -hmm. they block up the Sky games on that. How 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 shit is that? So you can pay it for is, like yeah. you can pay a boatload of money and you, they don't even they don't even let you see the Sky ones. Bastards. Very sad. Is this just an easy two D on the ball? Um. No, it's just out of no. range. It is too easy to deal on the ball. Yeah, but just not with tackle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, just an instant two D on the ball. Or he, uh, or he, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. So it's hard to get it with tackle, but it's still just like a double GFI in to get the guard yeah. in, and then a two D without tackle. Yeah. Or ignore the ball and go for ponds, which I would have been doing. Yeah, what you've been doing time. for the last couple of turns, yeah. yeah. Now it's true in America too, sad. Yeah, it's just it's the NFL, man, you know. But, um, yeah, the red zone is, is, is great. It's a really great way of watching all of the mm -hmm. NFL games because there's no ads in it. Your man's great as well, the guy who does it. He's so fucking American. Um, <laughs> but he's, uh, he's really good. Hi! Um, and he's great at his job, yeah. Which is really, it's it's really cool. Is he Brad from uh, Boston Legal? Uh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, his name is Scott Hansen. That's it. I was trying to remember his name. Hi, Scott Hansen here, and welcome to another thrilling night of the NFL. <laughs> he's great. 
Andrea, regular female name. Yeah, it's um, yeah, Andrea. Um, it's um, it's not that popular. No, it's not actually an Irish name. Um, I, I'm not sure where Andrea comes from. I think it's more Central Europe. I think, but um, lovely name. It is an regular name. Yeah. Or he, he uh, does look pretty American, yeah. <laughs> doesn't he, though? Yeah, with the fucking huge chin on him. Yeah, he's nearly as yeah. American as Brad from, from Boston Legal. But he's, yeah. he's not as American as Brad from Boston no. Legal. No, no, no. <laughs> Imagine if no, Stan uh, Hansen did the Red Zone. That would be incredible. The reason I can tell it's not a... Yeah, it's a male name over there, yeah. Uh, the reason I can tell it's not an Irish name is because there is a Y in it, and we don't have a Y in our language. Mm, but do you have a who? Uh, we do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's no uh, direct name for... There's a, don't, don't direct, like, yes and no either. It's a, you, you repeat what the other person has said and say it in either the positive or the negative. So, like, is the door closed? The door is closed. No way, sure. Yeah, it's it's, it's really funny. So, I mean, we still have we have sure. words for words for saying like yes and no. But if somebody asks you a question about something, you just repeat the verb that they've said, and I didn't positive or the negative. No, what? <laughs> which is why why we say stuff like uh, I I did or I will is something that we say all of the time because that's 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 correct to us, you know. Wow. Did you do the thing? I did do the thing. Oh my god, that yeah. is... Or, no, I didn't do it. Yeah. That is weird. Yeah. We couldn't afford a 26 letter. Uh, Jesus, don't mention 26. There's fucking six more added on to that by... Um, <laughs> 26 and 6 is 1. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, there's a bunch of letters we don't have. We don't have a V, we don't have a U, we don't have a... Um, we don't have a W, we don't have a Y, we don't have an X, we don't have a Z. Yeah. It's so weird. Hmm. I mean, it's 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 just different, right? That's, yeah, but I mean, of course everything's different. But like, it's so weird when you're used to something different. <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah. I mean, it makes perfect sense to us, you know. Like, there's a there's a town just up the road in, from from Cork called Cove, which is uh, spelled C O B H. Yeah, oh my god, the spellings of, of, of the of, of spellings. Any of any type of class, place name, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And people yeah. names as well, isn't it? All yeah, that. people names are pretty funny. I mean, my name, because people go like, well, well, how do you actually spell your name? Like, that is that is my name. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've, I've never had to, it's one of the great things about, like, you know, you go on the internet and everybody's already used names. <laughs> so a guy called, like, you know, Steve Murphy, for example. There's a few yeah. Steve Murphys out there. Hmm. Um, so yeah, if you're trying to find uh, a name, but you have got a name like Kalon or or Saoirse Ronan, we really shouldn't screw her. That's that's a terrible idea. <laughs> oh wow, that would be fun. That's a terrible idea. I've got some doozies. <laughs> this is the the name of the patron saint of um, uh, my hometown. Mm. Me too. Me too. Uh, how nice. There you go. Yeah, Sirsha. Well, it's Sirsha. It's got an A in it. It's uh, Sirsha means freedom, and uh, Sirsha is a girl's name. Yeah. There you go. That's the name of um, the, the school I went to. Was uh, was, was called Saint Dash. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, oh, was it cool? I'm not doing anything with that. I'm not doing anything with that. Yeah. Fuck. Fuckner. Fuckner is the name. Hmm. Fuckner. Is this a DACA? Okay. It's been a bit of a reverse DACA, hasn't it? He stole his ball away, kept it away for eight turns. It hasn't really been a DACA, he got very in contact turn one. And he's still just got lucky with giving hits away throughout, honestly. Um, mm -hmm. But, I mean, you know, Vid has never got close to getting the ball back. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the best ones are where it's like literally nothing like a spell. Mm -hmm. That's Podrick. Paddy. Podrick. Mm. And the second one is Par Party. Which is the same name, really. He's not. hitting a rookie. <laughs> is it just we can base yeah, the ball? Yeah. Is he really just. Like, what are you doing, oh, wow. mate? 
He should have piled on like six more times than he has. And he should yep, have made six more sure. fouls than he has. <laughs> because yep. you're going into the second half against, you know, nine elves. You're you're going to lose. There are nine elves that are one nil up. They can score any time they want. You are losing. And this just isn't worth it. It's a 1 in 12, 9, 6. <laughs> you know, you're forcing yeah, a 1 in 12, issue. 9, 6. And you're well, getting no, because your... it's a... Uh, it's a... It's, a uh, 12, it's starting tackles. It's a 1 in 12, 9, 6. This... What, to just punch him off, you mean? Yeah, yeah, the wrestler, the yeah. wrestler goes there. In fact, you can hit with the wrestler if you really want to get him down. But the wrestler yeah. goes <clears> in there and you blitz him there and it's... 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 Yeah. Oh, he can hand off. Well, okay. You can hand off. He doesn't. Oh, get so it. he just did a two D and then hand off. But I mean, I would have, I would have blocked that and then blitz for the wrestler. And so you, yeah. well, you forced a one in thirty six, which was unnecessary. That was greedy play by Luminous. He could have made it one in twelve nine six. He yeah, for one in thirty six instead. Um, but there was no need to do that. So yeah, that was. Like, there's no point in putting your goo on the line. You know, getting 2 dB by Mighty Blow just to force a 1 in 1 12 9 6. But, um, it, it, it wasn't great. It wasn't great. You're, you're not wrong. Um, yeah, it, it, is a, it is a consistent problem with them hammers. As soon as they get to a certain TV, uh, they're just kind of a bit shit, really, unless you've got some cool, cool stuff, and most of the cool stuff ends up on your ghouls, and your ghouls tend to die. Um, but also, uh, they're not that immobile, the Strength 5, because these are rookies. Yeah, yeah. The good thing is that at least he hasn't got he hasn't got more TV on them. So like, yeah. It, but under have won CCL like two or three times. Maybe even they four have, yeah. times. They're they're pretty decent at winning. Just because all you need is tackle pommers. Like on another yep. day, these tackle pommers like this tackle pommer kicks off and made four cars in the first half. For and, sure. Instead of just the two. Yeah. Uh, doesn't get the two of both of which to answer your question, the Watrix are badly hurt. So fine. Yeah, they were you both know, uh, rookie liners, liners as well. So. Yeah, und undead can be anybody really. Like it's just obviously it's not that likely. Sure, I mean they're an incredible team out of the box, right? They're probably the best team out of the box with maybe Wood Elves than them or the. I'd uh, say a thousand. Can argue the best, over them. Yeah. I'd say they're yeah. the best at a thousand. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a fair comment. Um, but yeah, once they get to like eighteen hundred or so, they're yeah. You you need things yeah, they're for them off. to be able to yeah they, for them to be able to play. Well. You need you need the right matchups. You need the right draw and a bit of luck. Yeah. But as long as you've got a tackle pommer, you can win. You can win chalice yeah. as long as you have an undead team with a tackle pommer. If you don't have yeah, a tackle pommer, right. I don't think yeah. you can win. Mm -hmm. And maybe some you know guard mummies. Or no, I just think I just think a tackle pommer. <laughs> <laughs> All rookies and uh, tackle pommer. <laughs> no, of course you're gonna have some of the skills, aren't you? <laughs> if you qualify you do, the yeah. challenge. But Indeed, I think they yeah. need a tackle pommer, and I think. I mean, these pommer. ghouls are these ghouls are fine. Let's not uh, let's not take anything away from those ghouls. It's just that they've been kind of largely held, made ineffectual this game. Mm. Because uh, he made a slight positioning mistake, and uh, Lumi didn't. Yeah. And oh. then he didn't really play to his outs very well. Or he didn't have any outs. <laughs> so, but yes, he didn't play with the, the second half in mind, which is what he in mind. Yeah. Oh my god, and he's, he split his LOS, so he's just going yeah, to go straight through the middle. Yeah. yeah. Um, Amazons are not the best team out of the box. Yeah, Dwarves the best team out of the box, probably, to be fair. <laughs> to be fair, like going by Games Workshop boxes because they give you a proper team. They do, they give you the full team, yeah, that's Where right. Is... Ooh! Ooh, wow. Well, that uh, somewhat delays the inevitable. <laughs> yes, doesn't it? Yeah. There's, no, there's no breakthrough now and they can't hit anybody no. very effectively. And, uh, yeah, there's three one of the tackles still good, the three of the ghouls are good. Mm, interesting. Yeah. I mean, the sure hands is fine, so the pickup should be grand, but... The really frustrating part about this is uh, who he decides to leave behind. Because uh, if he if he leaves behind the guy on the line of scrimmage, he's fucked. And if he leaves behind the move blitzer, he's fucked. Yeah.
because they're just getting kicked. Yeah. Hello, Faulty. I mean, the elves don't need bullshit, do they? They just need to. Uh, they just need to not get screwed. Imagine if, imagine if uh, he'd saved the uh, Wiz. I think he was right to use the Wiz because there's still a chance of him. You know, there was still a chance of like that Wizard being good and him getting back on top and recovering. So I think the Wiz yeah. was right. But if he'd saved it, you know, then, and then like you know, if he just thought to himself, "Look, I'm one nil down this half. I'm just going to pom and everything." If he'd given up then and then saved the Wiz for the second half, then he might have had a chance. But the problem is, Wizard isn't that good against Elves anyway. You know, like it's not. Mm -hmm. But then, if I guess if there was only six Elves, then maybe you can stop them scoring quickly. And if you stop them scoring quickly, maybe you can use the Wiz to throw. So, a shit decision that you only like you only have three minutes to think of it. But, um, yep. But I, I, I do think there's a lot to be said for him having just, you know, kicked the shit out of the guys who he could reach for the turns when the ball went up, went over and went like, you can you can either score or I'm just going to keep on kicking these guys. Yeah. Um, because if you stall out, you won't have a team for the second half. I think that, uh, that level of ruthlessness and that level of uh, understanding needs to, you know, um, needs to be worked on maybe. Yeah, yeah, he had to do that. Like, after, I mean, I, th I think he was right to, to use the wizard and go for it. Then, but after, after yes. that failed, he was he was fucked, and he had to realise he was yep. fucked. And yep. uh, we haven't done any D and D nor dark side. I used to look for DMing faulty. I think that we're going to struggle to get it done just because of trends schedule. Is the thing. I think Jack Bull said he was up for it. Yeah, that'd be cool. But so I think we're all up for I it. I don't know, I Jack Bull like. It, you, is Jack Bull aware of the fact that you can't have any guns in D&D? <laughs> I think we're all up for it. I just think it might be a struggle to get it to get it going. Is the, uh, is the thing. I mean, that's standard with any type of uh, thing like that. It's, uh, it's very frustrating. You find people who eventually find a group of people who are actually committed and do stuff every week, and then they, they, they stick with those people to do it every week for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, Dimmy was super committed. He was, and, yeah. and Trend was super committed, mm -hmm. but now I don't think Trend will be able to do it, and yes, Dimmy's left. Yeah. So <laughs> that has unfortunately, uh, you know, made it somewhat difficult to continue. <laughs> yeah, she hasn't streamed for a month because she's uh, she's working. She's got a full time job and full time college, so that's pretty. Uh, yeah, that's, taxing. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty extreme, isn't it? Yeah. Not easy to the to stream shitty little children's games and <laughs> and put, or also put four back. hours a, away on the weekends to play yeah. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I think the Marcus didn't please Dimmy, um, and but mostly it was the scheduling thing for Dimmy, you know, because Dimmy was giving up four hours on a weekend, and then he didn't like that, you know, people were like. You know, it was getting messed oh, Maybe not this week. Maybe not this week. Yeah. No. But you know, yeah. That's the thing. Jimmy was really up for it, but it was the it was the cancellations and reschedulings that he didn't. For sure. He didn't appreciate, which is fair enough because he was the most. He was the most reliable out of everybody. Well, obviously I was. But me, Dimmy, and I were were equal. We didn't miss any weeks. So, um, we really got away with this, to be honest with you. I know there's some pressure in here, but like, it's not particularly hard to clear this. He's got options of being able to clear these guys out. He just instantly based this Rackler with yeah. the, the side stepper for some reason. Well, so that he doesn't and, hit one uh, of these, right? That's the thing. Uh, he's got this one as yeah, well. but he still has that guy. But if he, pushed, yeah. if he pushes, then he, then he does that, doesn't he? That's the yeah, thing. If okay. he doesn't pow, then yeah. he gets on this one. He, had, he still has loads of options, and he didn't put any real pressure on the uh, on the on the other guy. Didn't go for the fell, mm. which I think uh, he should have done. But you know, who's to say? I don't know. Of course, I'll have to. I'll have to make like a. I'll make a spreadsheet that people can fill in and stuff. Yeah, there you go. So, the hardest thing is the dean. Is the D and D the hardest thing is the DM, isn't it? Like I would do it if I it could. Is. I wouldn't really be happy about it because I'd rather play, but I'd do it if I had to. Um, I mean, Redhead did a good job, didn't he? He did. But <laughs> Fair play to him. But that's the thing, it's it's getting people that will be able to do it every week. Forever, yeah. Isn't yeah. It? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, 
so thought he was really good just inconsistent red hair was really good but who knows if he can uh, who knows if he can commit to it by being a cringe can't commit to it Yep. Yeah, doing it on stream as well, Squirrel Dude, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, we could I, just do it yeah. not on stream. I guess we could do it not on stream. Yeah, that could be really, really fun as well. And we could, uh, just, we could just do it for fun, but obviously seeing as we, when we did it we were like all streamers. Like Faulty streamed a few times even. And mm -hmm. obviously Dimmy, Kaz and Trent, so like we and myself were all streamers, so why not just do it on stream? Yeah, Fault Faulty was incredible. Like Faulty was completely incredible. It's just it just sucks when you like making forty percent of the forty percent of the bits was uh, pretty shit. Didn't ideal like mm. Let's get the guard around the top corner here as well. Let's touch yeah. him off the guard first. Adjacent and oh it's gone bottom. Oh yeah, bottom is a, a Yeah. The quad the quadrix. Yeah. yeah, he's on the quad tracks, yeah. He is, yeah. And, um... Yeah, he can't get around the top. Just no. Know. So, uh, just park this blodger somewhere annoying as well. Maybe yeah. on the bottom of the, um, the bottom left of the go, the ghoul there. I'm trying really hard not to say go. <laughs> uh, foul? Nah. <laughs> what just is I wouldn't have hated it. He must stream it. It's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, we, we did. Funny enough, the best one was the one that we didn't stream. With the. Uh, <laughs> with. With. Uh, with. What was it? What's the word where you like. Awareness? Or something like awareness or. Uh, perception? Perception, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like there were some. There were two dead horses. And then mm. Trent ran to them and like rolled a nat one on the perception. It's like they're dead. <laughs> and then there was a goblin that that we tortured and I waterboarded. And then we found his pet dog that we butchered. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> and it was pretty funny. It was really funny the first one. So then we were pretty much hooked after that. But yeah, it going should be for the, yeah, going fine. for the base here. Yeah, probably. Probably thinks that's a good idea. Hmm. Yeah, I, I obviously wanted to stream it because, like, I, well, I mean, it was bound to be funny. Like, it couldn't not be funny. Well, if With you drop the, the mummy on got... top, it's not. It's not bad. Yeah. The, the game's not over if he puts the mummy on top. Yep. Yeah. No one's. No one's ever rolled a two or more before. <laughs> <laughs> It's better, is what, I, is what I'm saying. Yeah. You know you're in trouble when Kaz is your model company. It's too fucking high. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, Hamez, I don't, I don't think... Oh, no, yeah, that happened in the first one, didn't it? Didn't, didn't that happen off-stream? Was the, uh, was, yeah, all the claws getting burnt was the, was the first one off-stream again, yeah. <laughs> yeah, GFI's the mummy, yeah. Yeah, who knows? Doesn't get him. The brilliant mind of Fault Force. <laughs> it burns off all your clothes. Yeah, this is okay. Like, it isn't actually mm -hmm. that bad, but how many players has he got? Like, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got ten. Like, you know, if he if he has got three less players here, all of a sudden mm -hmm. it looks like you can stop him. So, I think that was definitely the play for Vade once, once the wizard. Like, either save the wizard. And plus, if he's got three less players and you've got a wizard, then all of a yeah. sudden it becomes actually do it's doable to stop him. So, maybe he should never have used the wizard. Um... No. It's hard. I quite like using the wizard just because, like, the payoff is so huge, right? If he got lucky on that yeah. wizard, if he has two of them or whatever, um, and then sure. got the ball back and being able to protect it, but was it happened? Cool. It didn't do anything. Cool. <laughs> so it was tricky because you did have to open with this um, blockless block. A blockless block. I know. 
but um, yeah, that's a nice hit now. Now he just uphills the mummy and then surfs the mummy. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if he he's did that. The, uh, I mean, he's got oh, yeah, the, the frenzies on the other side because he's done. He's gone for that before. Well, I don't think he'd uphill with a ball carrier. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> but it'd be funny that he like he could. It wouldn't even be that yeah. bad. Like it literally wouldn't even be <laughs> no. that bad. So stupid <laughs> blood ball yeah. is. Yep. <laughs> Probably the most insane thing you can do at this point isn't even that bad. Mm -hmm. Nice, he gets to take this guy down back to, with him as well. Yeah. So, yeah, it's almost over now, isn't it? But he might double one. Yeah, exactly. He's got some chances. And there are two people on diving tackle here, so. There are, yeah. But, um. They do have. Uh, they can just punch punch off though, but he has to get this guy away first because he can't uh, punch the DT onto the ball. Yeah. And uh, do you know he might actually um, just go for the dodge because it's in the open. Whereas if you punch yeah. him and don't power him, it's not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because it would be it would be really nice to cover the back corner, you know. Because yeah. at the moment the mummy can get at him and. If he goes to, if he goes out of range of the mummy, then the the white will get him. Yeah, yeah. He's. He, I think Lumi's just realizing that actually yeah. this is a bit shit. It is a bit shit, isn't it? Because he can hit. He can hit round the front lock. Yeah. So he's got to make this three two. He does. And he's got to make this four. Yeah. So that's why he's good. That's why he's just saying fuck this one and just think yeah. that he's got to make this. Yeah. Oh, and he does. He does, yeah. And uh, does he take the hit first? I don't think so. I think you just take the four plus out. Yeah, yeah, take um, the four plus. Yeah. yeah, just get it. There you go. Because he'd have to go back as well, like, and then around, and it'd just be horrendous if he, uh, if he got the push. Horrendous. I don't know why I said it like that. Horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you don't take that punch either, because yeah, you just make things worse. Yeah. Snakes could happen. That, well, that one, if that one in there had failed, yeah. there would have been a guard in, and there'd have been two D with tackle pom. Then he would probably still just score the next turn, but still, you know, things could have happened. I think Vade's still in it, like. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> huh. Just saying things. Not doing, not doing my credibility much good. <laughs> Pro does the thing. <gasps> it's, it's my credibility that's at fault, not yours, you're fine. Can't pile on. Yeah, it was a pretty good defence and it was a pretty good escape. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, there's people who would have mustered a, a worse defence and there's people that would have mustered a worse offence. Agreed. So, yeah, yep. that was pretty decent by both parties. Unfortunately for Vade, he was already fucked. <laughs> uh, he's played a lot better this half than he did the first half. Yeah, well, I mean, he could, they couldn't play him, which, like, he didn't get the chance to play in the first half, did he? Like, it was just literally that one turn and then yeah, but he, the even elves were all like... over him and then. There was still some bad decisions going on the rest of the time as well, though. So, uh, well, not bad decisions, just not maybe not optimal. Yes, yeah, so arguably he should have used a more desperate strategy of just playing for the second half. But even then, like you know, it's 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 a bit harsh to say that's what he should have done. Like ultimately, like it was the game was the drive was lost in after the first turn, and that wasn't entirely his fault. If he had just yeah. like you know he had hits with a tackle, and you know if he'd if he if he'd made knockdowns even. Um, it, he could have he could have made the ball safe, but he just literally didn't knock anybody down. He was he was, he was fine. Yeah. No. Oh Doesn't, wow! Uh, doesn't snake the dodge. Gets the uh, gets the full pow and gets the full removal. Yeah. And there goes the tackle palmer. Yeah. And uh, you you need one of them. I'm I'm given to understand. Yes. Yeah. Somebody over. said it to me a, a few times earlier on. Yep. Now it's now it's definitely over. <laughs> Because <laughs> the tackle bomb is gone and he's 2 0. Yeah. 
So now it's just run away and don't have anyone did. Is it as over as the game against Sparky that you had earlier on where you uh, GG'd him on, uh, for not scoring and then nearly won it anyway? I did win it anyway. You didn't, you drew it. I drew it in a, as a 1 0 win. <laughs> yeah. It's a deal, deal, deal loss. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you won it anyway. Yeah. This is. Just win anyway. Just win anyway. No, this is now over. Um, Lumi shouldn't even be playing like this. You should just backline everyone. Yep. Yeah, just just defensive dark. There's no way in this for mm. It's over. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not possible. Uh, just can't help yourself, like. I can't. Round of 16, and so this is. It's like third mm -hmm. round. Third round, yeah, this is the third round. Third round, <laughs> third round, exactly. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> well, he gets an extra reroll for himself. Yeah. Handy out. Correct. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Well, gets him the second try. Tackle's a good skill. Tackle all. Gets yeah. the stun. But yeah, his opening turn like did leave himself open a bit to the uh, to the, the high elf swarm, I guess. It did. Yeah. But then you know you can understand him wanting to make that big foul. And plus he got sent off. If he hadn't got sent off, then he would have strengthened yeah. it. So he was a yeah, bit exactly. unlucky with the send off. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, and he did not being able to open. stretch out to the side and yeah. yeah he, he did leave himself open to it a bit, and uh, mm -hmm. also was just unlucky with the blocks after that. But you know, fair play to Lumi. He did the he did the high risk, high reward strat, didn't he? Based everyone he did, up, yeah. got away with it. Like he only had to get away with one turn because once he got away for it, with it that one turn, then that's it, isn't it? That's drive over basically, and uh, and, it, and it was. <laughs> so it wasn't like that. It wasn't that risky in terms of. It was just one turn he had to do it, and if he, yeah. you know, if if uh, if Vader rolled a bunch of pals and secured the ball, then you can just, you know, dodge everyone off and. And just L screen for the rest of the half. So it wasn't, he hadn't committed himself for the rest of the half to be like a crazy bastard. But just that one turn. It was similar to my one turn against Cruz, wasn't it? When, uh, mm. when uh, I just went all in on his on his chores on the first turn. Because yeah, that was just crazy. Because you just didn't get the removals and you went, right, let's fucking have a go. Yeah, yeah. and if he, if he doesn't if he doesn't deal with it, he's in a lot of trouble. And, and that was what yeah. happened. Yeah, and if, if he does like you know if he did bang everyone down and got the ball in the cage, then okay, I just dodge everyone away and, and start. You also did that was, that was fucking ballsy as well. You did like a you did a four three two, right through the middle of his uh, chorf line as well. Just that it just it worked and it was fucking spectacular when you got there. Thanks. Yeah, it was pretty rowdy, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> it was Jesus, pretty rowdy. Was. Yeah, more rowdy, more rowdy right, than well, you know, this, I guess. I was not expecting. I don't think anybody was expecting it. Cruz <laughs> certainly was not expecting it. Yeah. I did have a strength five. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. I did have a strength five. When, when you've got an elf that can dominate a bull, <laughs> that's pretty good, yeah, isn't it? It's pretty nice. Yeah, <laughs> not bad. I've heard somebody said they're good ball carriers as well. Yeah, yeah. I found it. Crazy. I watched that clip again the other day. Someone, someone had clipped it, you know, and went calcium saying, "The problem is with this strength five, he's got the ball. That means he can't blitz with him." <laughs> and then the next thing I did was blitz, 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 blitz straight Cal away. <laughs> blitz Cruz's bull and cast it. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Yeah, <laughs> fucking strength five, mighty blow. What the fuck would I not blitz with him? Jesus Christ! <laughs> it was great. <laughs> All my I have to protect, You have to protect one guy. Like, mm. it's brilliant. Yeah, I, I love I love carrying and blitzing on a strength five. Yeah. Which now Zons will be able to do pretty easily. Yes. Well, it's not that easy. You do have to you have to roll the sixteen, right? 
It's not. No, no, it's uh, f like a 14 plus or something. Or maybe it's a 15 plus. You don't have to roll a 16. Is it not a flat 16? It's not a flat 16, no. Okay. 15 or 16, so 1 in 8. Yeah, 15 or 16, so 1 in 8, yeah. Instead of a 1 in 36. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fair play, yeah. So it's a, it's a lot easier than it is now. What would you take if you didn't get the thing? You'd take, you wouldn't take Arch, would you? Yeah, of course I'd take Arch. Mm. You, you wouldn't want a vampire? <laughs> I want a vampire. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'd go block and then and then movement, strength or Arch. Let's yeah, fucking okay. go. Just give me a vampire. Oh, 16 is pick. Yeah, Anything. 16 is pick, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can choose a secondary if you get a 16. Or, or a primary. Or a primary, yeah. It's, it's, it's specifically a characteristic. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I'm glad I decided to look it up. Mm. But, I mean, I'd probably choose strength on a 16, yeah, to be fair. Yeah. What's well, 14? Uh, or, like, 13? Because it's more, more likely you get agile than strength, aren't you? Uh, fair, sorry, I can close the book. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Yeah, I, right. I was hoped I'd ask it in time. Two whole seconds. No, you're fine. Uh, so, 1 to 7 is um, MA or AV. Mm. Uh, 8 to 13 is um, move pass ability. Uh, ability. <laughs> our, our armor. Move pass armor. Our AG and PA is uh, 14. Mm. Uh, 15 is strength or agility. So, 14 or 15 for strength for agility. 15 or 16 for. And 16, because anyway. you could just choose to get agility, couldn't you? So exactly. Yeah. So it's a 3 and 8 for a. No. 3 and 8, fuck me. 3 and 16. A 1 and a half in 8. And a 1 and a half yeah. in 8. 1 and a half, yeah. one and, a half in eight, yeah. and a 1 and 8 for that. And then. And what, what's 1 to 7? 1 to 7 is movement or armor. Movement or armor. And, and then 8 to 13. Is still it's armor as well. Movement, passing, or armor, yeah. Oh, there's, yes, there you go. So you can almost guarantee armor or, or movement. That's pretty nice, yeah. isn't it? Well, yeah, you, you can. can yeah. Movement, uh, armor, or agility is guaranteed. <laughs> so then on the edge one, you could, like, if you didn't want that, you could just take a second and just find me. Oh, there we go. Look at it. Hit on the ball. Oh, wow. Not, not, not what I would have done. But who can say if it was good or bad? Well, he got the ball down. Yeah. Uh, he's fierce based. Yeah. Could just get tackle mighty to death. Looked here. away for, looked away for two seconds. Um, yeah. Like, I just don't think it's worth getting anybody hurt. Getting anybody hurt, right yeah. He still has an apple, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funny thing, all my guys die, like, all the time, and I try so hard to protect them against everything, do you know what I mean? And then they just yeah. all die, and then other people are like... <laughs> Like Chunt is just like do 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 hit everybody do 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 I'm winning three nil I'll five all my own guy do 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 and somehow somehow everyone survives. Yeah, funny that. Oh, fails. Mm. Get the the, the old uh, snake there. Ah, snake, snake. The snake boy. Old snake in the grass. That's universal, isn't it? To refer to somebody as a snake, as in um, they're sly, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Just add a HN for no reason. Snake. Snake, snake. We don't have a word for it as well, because there is no such thing. Because uh, St. <laughs> Patrick chased them all away. Really? Yeah, there's no word in the Irish language for snake. <laughs> really? You could be telling the truth, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Be telling the truth. <laughs> I mean, I know the, I know like the, the bizarre old spellings are true. Yep. So anything could be true. Yep. How's Daedal? Hey, Daedal. Dark side stealing Daedal's line there. <laughs> oh, it's so funny, Daedal just typing, hey, Daedal. <laughs> hey, Daedal. That's good. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> How am I? <laughs> oh, and the fumble. Yeah, I mean he had to go for it, right? He had to had to high roll. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like how the English put bananas in cages to protect them from <laughs> That was a that was a great little chat, wasn't it? Uh 
yeah, there's the, the, the lads in um, Limerick, the, the lads with the plastic bags in their head. I've mentioned them before, the rubber bandits. <laughs> but uh, they've got a... Because of their accent, they say Tarantula. Oh, for right. a tarantula. <laughs> Which is it's really, it's just really funny. It's really stupid and it's really funny. But uh, I bought a tarantula from a Swedish guy. Yeah, it's it's part of one of their songs called My Dad's Best Friend, which is great. Mm. Yeah. Highly recommend anybody go and watch The Rubber Bandits, um, My Dad's Best Friend. Or it's your your dad's best friend, in fact. Mm. It's, a, it's a banger of a song. And the video is fucked up. Glorious. The yeah, horse. the horse one is good. Yeah. Oh, is that like horse but horse? <laughs> no, it's uh, it's it's about going to a wedding and uh, being able to pick up a girl that he wants to go home with because uh, he's got a horse outside. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your Mitsubishi! I have a horse outside. <laughs> Because he's, you know, Trader Park lad who has a horse outside yeah. instead of having a cool car. Yeah. Fuck your Subaru, I have a horse outside. <laughs> <laughs> They're fantastic. They're really, honestly, fantastic. They're really great. They have another one called uh, Roisin, I want to fight your father. <laughs> <laughs> it's the name of another one of their songs. Oh, and of course, um, uh, oh. We Need a Black Man. <laughs> oh, God. Um, which is a, <laughs> is a great song. <laughs> about uh, how they have loads of different guys in their group with their their short on ethnic minorities, so they need a black lad to hang out with them. <laughs> <laughs> it's funnier than it sounds. <laughs> yeah. I hope so. Let's move Take on. Take my word for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mitsubishi is a fucking cool car. Mitsubishi's class, boy. Mitsubishi makes really good cars and um, really good drugs. There you go. Mitsubishi, one of the best uh, E's around the place. Uh, there's another one uh, while I'm on it. Uh, so in, in Irish, uh, E, the letter E is uh, I, is an I father, is the way we, uh, so I with an accent on it, is how we, we denote the letter E. Mm. So um, uh, that's what the lads in the, who speak, uh, in the Gaeltic where they speak Irish alone, that's what they call pills. They call them I fathers because it's an E. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking lessons, time lessons in lessons. Last Kailga, the Kailan. I guess oh, Pog Mahon Freshen, um, Jay Baza, Tagelga, Gaka, then in Erna. So there you go. Brilliant. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, watch that after this thing. Oh, um, so there you go. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, cool. Yeah, that wasn't much of a game, was it? It was over. Nope. It was over by pretty much turn two. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there you go. Uh, commiserations, Vaid. Congratulations, Luminous. Uh, thank you very much, Kalon. Absolutely glorious. Yeah, play, I've not been of help at all. Yeah. <laughs> and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>